Hi, it's Ken from electricalindustrynetwork.com. In this video, we'll talk about multi wire branch circuits, and you can find that in the National Electrical Code under uh, 210.4, and we'll be covering sections A, B, C, and D. Now, I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, I'll put it up on the website and you can go read it all or you can basically it's uh, an excerpt taken from the code book you can go there and read it as well but the idea behind this is uh, protecting uh, us people from out there being working on it that uh, that we don't get hit off of a uh, neutral when you shut a circuit off to be uh, working on something else if you're sharing a circuit basically um, the neutral still carrying some current and you can get hit off of it so that's what this is all about here in general the branch circuits are recognized by the article shall be permitted as multi-wire circuits all conductors of the multi-wire multi -wire branch circuit shall originate from the same panel board it's important or similar distribution equipment the disconnecting means uh, basically if you have uh, three circuits on one neutral they all have to be shut off at the same time and I have visuals for all this and I'll show you down the line and then the grouping they need to be marked at least one location within the panel board or other point of origination not out at your J boxes that needs to be back in your panel so here you'll see A B and C phases sharing one neutral on a three phase and then on a single phase you got A and B sharing one neutral uh, which is allowed, but we're going to have to take a look at uh, Section B as far as that is concerned. And Section C just kind of explains that uh, your line to neutral loads, uh, multi-wire branch circuit shall supply only line to neutral loads, uh, you know, lighting outlets, etc. So here, what we'll take a look at is um, the three phases that I'm talking about. So we'll take this as an example. Let's go to this one here, uh, 8, 10, and 12. There's three branch circuits that are going out in this particular one. Um, I actually pulled all neutrals to. So circuit 8 has its own, 10 has its own neutral, and 12 has its own neutral. To me, I think sometimes it's better in the case of um, when you're doing tenant improvements that you have individual control so that if somebody goes in to work on it you can shut each individual breaker off if you have a common uh, disconnect like the codes reading and somebody's working on circuit 8 on their computer and you need to work on circuit 10 you know you need to shut them down so in the next video that'll show that so anyway the the 8 10 and 12 from the code that I'm citing right now you can use one circuit but you gotta have handle ties on here so when it says it requires a simultaneous disconnection of all ungrounded conductors what that's saying is here's here's the individual breakers here like I was saying if somebody is uh, working on circuit 8 Eight's actually on that side, but uh, anyway, if you know if somebody's working on this circuit, that circuit, and that circuit on their computers, and you needed to work on this one, if you had a single handle to shut everything off, then people wouldn't be able to do their, you know, their computer work or whatever. So that's why a lot of people have gone to pulling a separate neutral for each circuit that you're pulling in, in a, let's say in a home run. So this one down here would be for two pole, uh, two circuits with the neutral that you're sharing. Uh, this would be three circuits with the neutral that you're sharing, and this one would be a three circuits with the neutral that you're sharing. And then this whole side over here, each one, if you have, um, if you're sharing a neutral, one that's against code, and two, if um, if you have the individual neutrals in there, you're good. Now what it's talking about in grouping here is so when an electrician goes back to a panel, maintenance guy, whoever goes back to a panel, 
they can actually take a look at this and we go ahead and mark these with the circuit numbers at the top and then we group them uh, to each neutral. So if I got, uh, like in my example earlier, I had 8, 10, and 12 over here in the right picture, um, then those neutrals are marked 8, 10, and 12 by wire ties. The whole group of them are marked by um, a wrap of tape and the circuit numbers on them. Basically the circuit number. That way if you ever had to cut these wire ties off you can go down and if you had to disconnect that neutral you know that you're getting the neutral that is going to 8, 10, and 12. So I know it, it's probably a little bit confusing there but you know in a nutshell back when we used to share neutrals all the time um, you know, you pulled a one neutral in with three circuits or two circuits, whatever, and uh, you know you were good to go. Now that they've come up with this code, and this is uh, citing the 2008. Now that they've come up with this, um, you have to go the extra step and separate all these neutrals and or use the handle ties. So hope that helps you out a little bit, and I definitely appreciate you watching. And here's the, the code right here, 2008 code, National Electric Code, 210.4, A, C, B, and D. And if you'd like to, uh, I'd appreciate you subscribing, see more videos, and if you'd like to visit the site, just go ahead and click on down here, and it'll take you right over to the site, and you can read the whole thing for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Talk to you later.